this video you will learn how to install Windows 10 on your Acer Tab 8W or maybe the 3W or maybe some other Acer tablet that is running Windows 8.1. Installing it from out the desktop won't work. So let's see how we Chup, must do how it. are you doing? This is Puck. Today I have the Acer Iconia with me. It's uh, standing right here in front of me. Well, you can see it there. It's the W8. It's a 32 gigabyte um, uh, tablet. And we're gonna install Windows 10 on it. So this is how to install Windows 10 on any Acer Iconia tablet. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna show you. Um, you, however, need a cable, and that is this cable. You can buy it from Belkin, cost 9.95. It's a, a micro USB to a normal USB. And to do what I'm gonna do, kill the beats. Uh, you will also need. Uh, a USB hub that can like power up like two or three devices. So that's what we need. So now how to get the thing into uh, How to get in the bias of this thing because the this is a tablet it has only two buttons So how to do it? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's not so hard what you in fact must do is um, Well, I'm gonna try to do it with one hand you must here press down the volume button okay you see that this is the volume button my friend here you press it down and then you must make sure that you also have your bootable created usb stick you know check my video how to create a windows 10 bootable usb stick uh, connected to the hub and then the must press then power so you're holding down the volume and you're pressing power and then you let go and you wait one second please and then you will get in the bios as you can see now we are in the bios and this is not some some stupid tablet that will only let you uh, choose uh, from the usb boot manager no it will also let you uh, choose from the uh, usb hdd lexar with uh, the install files but um yeah so let's just hit that one and let's see what's gonna happen and we might have a touch problem uh, during the install so we will need the keyboard we're gonna use the tap uh, key to you know continue to the next steps so what we're doing now we're booting from the USB stick there and it's loading Windows 10 I hope you can see it a little bit there it's flashing and this is really fantastic because we can also install Linux on this baby. Here you can see Evaluatie Exemplar 99.26. So you will see no no worky. So we just hit enter and then we hit install. Just enter. I'm using my, uh, my Mac uh, keyboard. But any keyboard will do. USB keyboard of course or you should have a PS2 to USB converter then you can also use a PS2 keyboard so there are many many options my friends so up here the setup word start that means the setup is being started this is like Dutch so you're also getting like a kind of Dutch uh, how you call it uh, here we click we gaan fully accord and then we hit the tab you see the tab until we get there and then we hit volgende and up here we will go down and we will say aangepaste installatie and uh, well we're gonna wipe that drive so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that one and say format Okay, so I'm formatting a brand new device. <laughs> no, you should, you guys should not do this. Eh? You will lose your warranty. But I don't care too much about warranty. You know, we from Russia, we don't care about warranty. I'm not from Russia. I'm from Suriname. Okay, so now we have 21 gigabytes free. I would also uh, MSR gereserveerd. Um, ESP partition 48 megabyte well you know I also want to delete this one 
delete uh, okay never mind we're gonna keep those and we're just gonna hit install on on the 21 gigabyte you see so now all this rubbish is now from the from the tablet because it comes with a lot of uh uh yeah wear and acer this and acer that no offense acer but you know microsoft of uh, what did i see microvision or what was it mac a fee scanner i did not even review it because you know um i'm not planning to you know use this thing as a windows 8 tablet i have no intention to do that so um we're just gonna install Windows 10 on this baby because I really like Windows 10. So this will be the first Acer Econia W8 with Windows 10, you know, installed on it. We just have to see how the thing's gonna boot and how it will work. But I think everything will go fine. And if not, then we just bricked a brand new tablet, my friends. We're gonna let this go. And I'll get back to you after the reboot. First reboot. Boom, black screen of that. <laughs> there you go. So, oops. Oh, reboot. Apparatus for Brighton means getting the devices ready. So, I'm going to show you when this is done. There you go. Windows 10 installed on the tablet. If you want to see how Windows 10 runs, check out my video that will come after this one because my tape is almost finished and I'm gonna do my uh, express uh, settings. Back to tell you that you must remember that you need a mouse to finish the setup because the touch will not work yet. After you know the updates and the drivers will be installed then your touch will work. At least I hope so. Come back. You know, I could not end this video because <laughs> you will have many things to do after installing Windows 10. First thing, you will need to go to the Acer website and download the drivers of this tablet. I will put the link in the description. If you downloaded them, put them on your USB stick, copy them to uh, somewhere to your documents or so. I just put them in my documents and uh, now we go to device manager again and in fact we don't know nothing so what we will do we'll just take the first generic device we're gonna say uh, look for my computer in documents next and now it's gonna look and you see it found the driver that it needs I will have to you know I will have to do this for all the for all the devices that were not found the one with the little what is it question mark or so or you call these marks exclamation mark so we just say to my documents because i downloaded the folder to my documents you see that so the list is getting smaller then we go for the next stuur programma bijwerken look in my documents installing see that and these are windows 8 drivers so i'm installing windows 8 drivers uh on uh, this tablet i i wiped the windows 8 that was on this thing because you know who wants it you know no, i'm not like really a windows 8 freak I bought this tablet to hack it, not to play with Windows 8. I bought this tablet to, you know, show you what you can do with it. 
how fantastic these Acer Econia tablets are. And you guys are, you know, buying all sorts of tablets and not giving this thing an eye. You know, so I'm going to show you what you can do with this beautiful tablet. It can not only run Windows, I think it can only also run Linux, yo. But that we will do in another video. You know, if you're on time, you can also get get one. And then do the same what I'm doing here. here you can see all the exclamation marks are being uh, uh, fixed. So everything is getting fixed now. There you go, baby. See that? And these things, if you don't know how to install a driver, peeps, if you're not from the time from Windows XP, installing drivers, Windows 98, things like that, then you must not do what I did, eh? otherwise your tablet will not work anymore. And you will say that I did it, because, you know, this. if you do this, it's for your own responsibility. Capis? So don't come cry for me if things don't go right. I just fixed my tablet. I just fixed my beautiful tablet. And I think the touch screen will work soon. Hey, what are you doing, my friend? You must... Uh, no. Volgende. Trusted platform module. What, if, what is this? I don't know what this is. Trusted module platform... Mm, whatever. So, I'm not gonna... Probably... <sighs> Do we have touch screen now? No, I have no touch screen yet. And my sound is not working yet. But my Wi Fi is working. I do have Wi Fi. So, so we fix the Wi Fi. I think this thing needs a reboot, yo. It needs a reboot. So let's go reboot it. Up new, up starter. So that's what we're gonna do. And then after that, you know, everything should work. And if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna get really pissed. Oh, it's updating. So I'll be right back. After the second reboot, you're not done yet. Because then you will see that the touch is not working yet and there will be no sound. So you go back to device manager and you go fix all the, all the, uh, 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 exclamation marks that you see we just point to my documents here you can see I think we also have touch now soon we're gonna have touch so don't panic you know it's bad for your heart we just go for all them exclamation marks we just point to you see that and then it will dance a little polka and then you will see that they get less but there will still be some so we need to fix them all if you think this is annoying please don't do it this is called installing drivers it won't be all automated uh, installed because this tablet never knew that it would run windows 10 you understand i think this is probably the first w8 acer tablet that is at this moment installing windows 10 on cam here you can see sound is fixed after this one the sound will be fixed there you go real tech see that there fix go installing and it installs very nice eh? this is a much better choice than such a rt rt windows tablet because that is not so good we have one more here it said something that it could not 
find a good one for here. But we have touch. Touch is working. Sound is working. Wi-Fi is working. So this is now uh, a fully touch tablet Windows 10. Uh, let me show that real fast. Properties. <clears throat> no, I wanted the properties. Oops. Properties. There she comes. Here you see it. Windows 10 Pro Technical Preview, etc. etc. Everything is working now, so now I can say goodbye to you. So now I know if you do it the way I just showed you, then you don't have to worry, everything will work. And now you can pull out the USB cables and go sit on the couch with your Windows 10 tablet. It works, people. I can confirm it works. What you need to do is download the drivers from Acer. It's uh, just look for the drivers, go to Acer, do download some stupid tool to get drivers for you. Just go to Acer look it up the tab 8w um, download the only package of 82 megabyte of drivers it's a zip file download it you know unpack it uh, copy it to the usb stick copy it to my documents or any other folder that you will point to when installing the drivers uh, you will have to install almost all drivers but you don't have to know anything about the driver you just click one and you point it to my documents where you have the folder with all the drivers that you downloaded from Acer and everything will be uh, uh, installed automatically so you won't uh, have to point like in Windows 95 you know what device is it oh um, um. Um, you know, so it will search automatically and find it and then you know, you will be good to go and this is uh, I can can confirm now the first uh, Windows 10 tablet also if you buy a cable like this these Belkin cables Please look very well. This is the top eh? you see and This is the bottom so you put it inside like this you see Make no mistake, because if you stick it in the wrong way, you will mess up that port. And if you mess up that port, you can forget about installing anything on it. And you will not be able to charge it either. So be very careful how to, you know, if you have some, you see the Belkin is on the top. That must be on top and must look at windows. You see, like this, you stick it in. Don't do it the other way. Don't force it. Don't push it. Don't force it. Let it happen naturally. In my next video, I'm happy for you if you will also succeed and if you will also go ahead and buy an Acer Econia W8, one of the best tablets out there for only 139 quid.